Hey Superstars, my name is Ms. Sieber. This is my virtual classroom and welcome to Superstar Parking. So today we have a really fun activity that we are going to do together. But before we begin, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to one of my students for giving me this awesome quarantine teacher shirt. I appreciate you and I am so excited to wear this shirt today. So last episode we were learning about perimeter. As we know, perimeter is the outside of an object. So today, we are going to be learning about the area of an object. Hmm, what is area? Well, let's take a look to learn about area. Area is the amount of space inside of a shape. When we're looking at my shape, one square represents one square unit. So here, this is one square unit. This is another square unit and this is another square unit. The formula that we use is length times width. So my square has an area of one, two, three square units times the width, which is also one, two, three square units. So we could do two things. One, we could multiply three times three, which equals nine or we could just count the square units inside which is what we are going to be doing today so let's count them together one two three four five six seven eight nine so the area of my shape is nine square units are you guys ready to solve one together i am but before we do miss Sieber forgot to do something so everybody take their right hand Put it inside your imaginary backpack, pull out your math thinking cap, put it on your head, turn it on, kiss your brain, and tell yourself you got this. So today I'm bringing back my handy dandy geo board. Now remember, area is the inside of an object. So remember, one square on my geo board represents one square unit. So we know that area is length times width, but today we're just going to be counting the inside square units of my rectangle. So let's count together. This represents one square unit. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the area of my rectangle is eight square units. I don't know about you, but this geo board is a little boring. So everybody put on your virtual walking shoes, put on your virtual glasses, and I wanna show you something outside. Hey guys, so as I was heading outside to our destination, I wanted to show you something super cool that was added to the raw fishing family today. Are you ready? These beautiful little koi just got delivered today. You will never guess how many koi fish there are. Woo! Scary Mary. They will actually come up to your hand and take the food right out of your hand. But since they're still babies, we haven't really fed them yet since they only got here a few hours ago. <gasps> Watch this. I think it's just because Rolf Fam has the magic touch, huh? Yeah. Look at them, they're all trying to eat out of my hand. Oh my goodness. Hi, they're so cute. They just suck on your fingers. Say what's up, Rolf Fam. What's up? By the way, did I mention that 380 koi fish were delivered here today? I'm gonna say that one more time. 380 fish all the way from Japan, and you guys got to see it first. Well, second, but whatever. Are you guys ready to go to our final destination? Yeah. Let's go. All right, guys, here at my house, my brother has actually been building this awesome Lego pond. Look how cool it is. Look at all the colors. I love it and I hope that you love it. So today, we are going to be actually figuring out the area of the top of the Lego pond. Like like right there? So here's what Miss Seber did. I climbed up top, I took a picture, I drew some square units, and now we are going to go back inside. I just wanted to show you the pond and we're going to look at the picture and figure out what is the area of the inside of my Lego pond. Are you guys ready? I'm ready, let's go. All right, so. We were just looking at the Lego pond. Now, let's figure out the area 
or the inside of the Lego pond in square units. So here are the square units of my Lego pond. Remember, each square represents one square unit. So the length of my Lego pond is one, two, three, four, four units. Now let's look at the width of my Lego pond. Again, one, two, three, four square units. And I know that the formula to figure out area is length times width. So to figure out the area of my Lego pond, I could do four times four, or I could just count each square unit. But before I do four times four, I want to double check my work. So let's count together each square unit to figure out the area of my Lego pond. Are you ready? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the area of my Lego pond is 16 square units. So you could either do it two ways. You could multiply the length times the width, or you could simply just count the square units inside of my object. All right, superstars, I had so much fun learning with you today, and I hope that you had fun too. Before I go, I would like to give everybody an air high five. I would like everyone to kiss their brain. You guys did an amazing job today, and I will see you next time. Thanks for learning with me today.